Hey guys, this is North back again with another video. Today's video, I'm just gonna talk to you about the top 10 fragrances that I sold for the second half of 2022. I did record a video of the first half of 2022. Most of those were fragrances that I was really trying to get off of because I didn't enjoy them. I'm still at the beginning of my fragrance journey, so uh, I had to get rid of some things that I didn't want. And that's when I went back to the States. While I was doing that, when I returned back to where I live at now, I decided if I really want to get my fragrance collection down to like what I considered to be a manageable amount, which was around 100 fragrances, I'd have to start getting rid of fragrances that I actually like. And this is what I have done. I probably sold a, this year, maybe around more than 50 fragrances from my collection, 50 to like 70 fragrances uh, is a rough estimate. Today I'm only gonna talk about like the top 10 of them, 10 of the like most cherished fragrances that I departed from for my collection. I don't miss any of them at the moment, but these are ones that were popular, ones that I know knew that I could sell, some that were discontinued, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now it's more than 10 fragrances because I grouped the ones that are in the same house together. So I'll just mention them briefly, make this a pretty quick video. Uh, the first one is uh, Norlane Taif from Thamine. Uh, they did eventually get it in at Bloomingdale's, but before no one had it in Kuwait except for this one place that I go to so since they had it I was able to get it for less than retail I picked it up I like the fragrance but to me it really wasn't that much of a rose fragrance to me even if you read the reviews on it and also it smelled strikingly similar to Royal Oud from Creed um, now recently Royal Oud from Creed had been getting a lot of attention so it was on my radar the same place had Royal Oud, but I believe someone picked it up. So when this came about, I did pick it up. I liked it. It was okay, but it really wasn't a rose fragrance to me, so I got rid of it. Next one. Um, this is one of the most recent fragrances that I've sold. It hasn't even reached the person that bought it yet, and that's Sahara Oud from Fragrance Dubois. This, to me, is the best one that I've smelled from, <laughs> from the house. And I remember when I bought it, uh, this particular shop had them for 50% off because they were going to stop selling that particular brand. And I remember it being 50% off of 50 ml. It was still like one of the most expensive fragrances that I had ever bought. Uh, but I ended up picking it up. I didn't think that I was going to get rid of it, but it just was sort of sitting there in my collection. I couldn't really think of a time where like I really wanted to wear it. It would just be something to put on. It wasn't something that was just like so striking to me for my style, but I do think it was a really good fragrance. Uh, the next two I'll mention are from the Armani Privé line. Uh, the first one is Incense Satin. Now, when I got that bottle of Incense Satin, when I first started getting into fragrances, before they had this big fire here, I was able to get like so many discontinued fragrances at good deals, and this was one of them. But I also, uh, later on, you know, a long time afterwards, I realized that these black Armani Privé bottles, if you put them to the light, you can actually see how much juice is left in it. I had only probably wore it a couple of times and it was only half full. So I know when I bought it, it was, you know, around that much, around half full. So that was a little bit disappointing, but um, it was a really, it is a really good uh, incense based fragrance. Uh, I decided to get rid of it because I knew that it was like highly sought after and it was a discontinued fragrance. I figured I could probably sell half the bottle and that's what I did. The other one from the Armani Privé line is Sable Nuit. Sable Nuit, I actually put number one on my incense based fragrance list last year. I do still really love this fragrance. I don't know if I'll ever pick up on it again. I was able to purchase I don't remember if it was a tester, if it was in the package, but it wasn't like brand new. And uh, my, my brother was looking to get some fragrances, so I wanted to put him on to some things and he wanted to get some from me. So this was something that I offered to him so he can enjoy it. And that's it for Armani Privé. The next house that I sold a couple from are from Tom Ford. First one is Amber Absolute. 
and the other one is Tobacco Oud Intense. Now, Tobacco Oud Intense is definitely not a fragrance that I thought that I was going to uh, get rid of. But again, it was one of those situations where I knew I could get more back more than what I paid for it. I got a really good deal on it. I would probably reach for it a little bit more than Sahar Noir, but it still was worth more to me selling it than to just keep it in my collection, you know, just collecting dust. The other one was the Amber Absolute. Amber Absolute is, um, you know, one of these quintessential amber fragrances, a really good one. It isn't one of my favorites. I think that uh, Ombre Orient from Armani Privé, which I was able to uh, pick up as well, is a little bit better of an amber fragrance for my style. So those are the ones I got rid of from Tom Ford. The next house is Amouage. I was able to pick up two like discontinued uh, women's fragrances because after getting Jubilation 25 women's, I really wanted to check out the women's line. So I was able to find Ubar and Ubar was extremely discontinued. I don't know when it was discontinued, but it was very hard to find. The same place where I got a couple of the fragrances that I mentioned before, Thamine, for example, I was able to find this. They only had one bottle. I got it, I smelled it, but I wasn't like head over to hit, head over heels with it. So again, I just tried to see if I could flip it, uh, get more back than what I paid for it, and I was able to. The other one was Fate Woman. This one was a cheaper floral. It is discontinued, but it is more available here than say Ubar. I don't know if I would ever come across Ubar again. If I was able to get it for the same price, I'd probably buy it. Maybe I'll keep it, maybe I'll sell it, I don't know. Uh, but those are the ones I sold from Amwash. Next is from the house of Frederick Mall. Uh, first one is Promise. I was able to get a tester bottle of that some time ago. And that was a really awesome, potent, like complex fragrance. And the other one was um, uh, Lou de Ver, I believe. It was that powdery iris type of scent. So I got rid of both of those. I had tester 100 ml bottles of them but I really wanted to get Dawn. So again, I wanted to make room for that. So I was able to sell those. Next one is from the house of Mugler. And this one is hard to pronounce. And this one is Montreux de Mansour. And this is basically the men's version of Jiki that was discontinued some time ago. I believe the formulation I actually currently have and the one that I sold is a 2015 bottle, either 2015 or 2005 because they reused the batch codes every 10 years. Uh, I knew this one place that had three bottles of it. And so I had a bottle. It was probably maybe like a third of it missing, maybe a little bit more. So I put it up. I knew it was, you know, highly sought after again. So I was able to sell it. Uh, this one I didn't make too much of a profit on, but I knew that I could get another bottle of it because I still wanted to own it. But um, so this is the reason why I got rid of it next up. Next one is the my entire Mugler Amen line collection. I had seven from the line. Uh, those were pure malt, pure tonka, pure coffee, pure wood, pure Havan, Ultra Zest, and Crypto Mint. Crypto Mint was the last one I couldn't get off of for the longest, but I eventually was able to sell it. Uh, so I got rid of all of those and I was able to get most of them testers. I got them for really good steals. So I was able to make a decent profit on them. And to me, again, trying to downsize my fragrance, uh, you know, I'm in my early forties now and just the Amen line were just a little bit, just the style of them and even the scents themselves were just a little juvenile to me. And, but they are great scents. I do, I did like them, but again, I, all these things i feel like they would have better homes uh, with other people for them to enjoy moving on next one i want to mention is from the house of bodicea the victorious and this one was icini now icini was the very first um maybe uh i've sold both of them icini i sold and then the other one was uh an alhud one and that one was supposed to smell like Plum Japanese. This Icini was supposed to smell like Mir Imperial, and it did, but I sold both of them. Icini I particularly got rid of. The only reason I got it is because I love Mir Imperial so much from Armani Privé, but I was able to pick up a 250 ml bottle of that, so I didn't need it anymore. Needless to say, Bodicea the Victorious fragrances are, are really easily to get rid of. And the last fragrance I want to mention that I sold was 
Ness from Nishane. Now, I did really like Ness from Nishane. As I said, all of these fragrances I pretty much enjoyed and could have kept in my collection for one reason or another. Either I really enjoyed them or they are like collector's pieces, but I'm really trying to cultivate my collection to fit my style, even though it's changing, you know, by the day, by the month, by the year, and just get some, just kind of have more fragrances around that I would wear than not wear. So I got rid of Neff's. I got it for a super steal. Um, it was around the time that it actually was released. I got it for like $200. So I was able to, you know, make a little bit of money on that. But I think it's an awesome fragrance. As I said, all of these that I mentioned today are fragrances that I did not plan on getting rid of when I purchased them. But I had a goal in mind and I wanted to try to stick to that goal. Again, I do not miss any of these fragrances. I think that in a lot of instances, uh, less is more. And like I said, I'm just trying to have like just the best of the best uh, around me if I can. And even so, I'm still, you know, uh, have this large collection that, you know, most people don't even aren't even into fragrances. So having a, even 100 fragrances, 70, 80 fragrances is ridiculous to the majority of people that uh, I even know. And so that's it. These are the top 10 fragrances that I sold for the second half of 2022. I've gotten down to around 115 fragrances. So I still have a little bit to go. Some of them I know I'll be able to get rid of. Maybe at some point, uh, some of them that are like less than say half or something like that, I may give away or something like that just so I can reach my goal. That's it. Have you sold any of your fragrances from your collection? I know I have a buddy, shout out to uh, Clark Jackson out there. He uh, says he just can't part with any of his fragrances. He has a really large collection, but me, I just have to shed some things sometimes. Even when I went home, you know, I went to my mom's house, went in the basement and just cleared out things that had just been sitting down there for years, collecting dust, old comic books and things like that. So I, a lot of things I don't need. I don't want to just become a hoarder uh, of sorts. Not that if you're collecting fragrances that you're a hoarder, but that's just the way I view me collecting things because I already have like an addictive personality. And so this is a way for me to sort of balance that out. So let me know if you sold any of your fragrances this year. Which ones have you sold? Do you regret selling of your any of your fragrances? Please let me know in the comments. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm about 52 uh, subscribers away from a thousand subscribers. So I do appreciate everybody that watches my content and has subscribed. Uh, please again, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.